First let us read this translation of Matthews to get the entire context of this study. The chapter of Matthew 16, Eth Sefer translation The Pharisees and Sadducees minds Matt 16 on the Parashim also with the Tzedokim came, and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Matt 16 2 He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, yes say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Matt 16 colon 3 3 And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Matt 16 colon 4 A wicked and a an adulterous nation seeks after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Yonah. And he left them, and departed. The leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees Matt 16 5 And when his Talmudim were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Matt 16 6 Then Yahisha said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Parashim and of the Tzedokim. Matt 16 7 And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Matt 16 8 Which when Yahisha perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little belief, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? 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 Matt 16 9 Do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Matt 16 10 Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Matt 16 11 How is it that ye Ye do not understand it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Parashim and of the Tzedokim? Matt 16 12 Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Parashim and of the Tzedokim. Peter confesses Jesus as the Christ Matt 16 13 When Yahisha came into the coasts of Kikariophilippi, he asked eth his Talmudim, saying, Whom do men say that I the son of Adam am? Matt 16 14 And they said, Some say that you are Yahishan on the Immerser, some, Eliyahu, and others, Yermeahu, or one of the prophets. Matt 16 15 He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Matt 16 16 And Shimon Kepha answered and said, You are Hamashiach, the son of the living Yah. Matt 16 17 And Yahisha answered and said, Blessed are you, John Baryana, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Matt 16 18 And I say also unto you, that you are Kepha, and upon this rock I will rebuild eth my called out assembly, and the gates of Sheol shall not prevail against it. Matt 16 19 And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of Yahweh, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matt 16 20 Then charged he his Talmudim that they should tell no man that he was Yahya Mashiach. Yeshua foretells his death and resurrection. Resurrection Matt 16 21 From that time forth began Yahisha to show unto his Talmudim, how that he must go unto Yerushalayim, and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Matt 16 22 Then Kepha took him, and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from you, Adonai, this shall not be unto you. Matt 16 23 But he turned, and said unto Kepha, Get behind me, Satan, you are an offense unto me. For you savor not the things that be of Yahweh, but those that be of men. Take up your cross and follow Yeshua Matt 16 24 Then said Yahisha unto his Talmudim, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. Matt 16 25 For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his ache shall find it. Matt 66 For what is a man, if he shall world, and lose his own Or what shall a man exchange for his soul? Soul? Matt 16 27 For the son of Adam shall come in the glory of his father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Matt 16 28 Amen I say unto you, there be some standing here, which shall not taste of death, till they see the son of Adam coming in his kingdom. Now a quick read of the KJV of our text to get a sense of what words are going to be used and translated, in order to dive deeper into the actual real meaning of our text according to the Greek. The Pharisees and Sadducees demand signs Matt 16 1 The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. Matt 16 2 He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, yes say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Matt 16 3 And in the morning, 
it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Matt 16 4 A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of, sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them, and departed. The leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees Matt 16 5 And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Matt 16 6 Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Matt 16 7 And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Matt 16 8 Which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? Matt 16 9 Do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Matt 16 10 Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Matt 16 11 How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Matt 16 12 Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Peter confesses Jesus as the Christ. Matt 16 13 When Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? Matt 16 14 And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or prophets. Matt 16 15 He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Matt 16 16 And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living Elohim. Matt 16 17 And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjana, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Matt 16 18 And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matt 16 19 And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven heaven. Matt 16 20 Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Yeshua foretells his death and resurrection Matt 16 21 From that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples, how that he must go unto Jerusalem, and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Matt 16 22 Then Peter took him, and began to rebuke him, saying, Be far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Matt 16 23 But he turned, and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Take up your cross slash shepherd's staff and follow Yeshua. Matt 16 24 Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. Me. Matt 16 25 For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Matt 16 26 For what is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Matt 16 27 For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Matt 16 28 Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here, which shall not taste of death, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The overall subject matter of this chapter is that, the Pharisees and Sadducees demand signs. The leaven is the doctrine. So, we are to beware the doctrine of these authorities and teachers of half-truths and lies, because they are spiritually blind. We know this because with all their knowledge and traditions and even laws, man-made laws, they did not even recognize the Messiah. Let us look deeper into the verses, in verse 15 he saith unto them, But whom say you that I am? And Simon, Peter, answers that he is the Christ, degree the son of the living Elohim, Yahweh. In verse 17 we see a divine revelation. Peter's confession, is the foundation. To be built on. But what is really being built? In verse 17 blessed equals happy. Simon Barjona equals Simon, son of Jonah. Remember this interesting truth that he is the son of or in the lineage of a man. A man named Jonah. 
Yeshua uses his human name and parentage in contrast with the divine origin of the revelation made to him. Barjona is Aramaic. The term flesh and blood is important, for a mortal human being in contrast with Yahweh the Father in heaven. The name Peter, is actually a descriptive title, or nickname given by Yeshua for him. Peter's title is very important. Greek. Petros here means a stone loose and movable. Loose and movable stone. Not what we would want to build something enduring. Yeshua's statement is very emphatic, as though pointing to himself. See notes on John 2, 19, and 6. 68 where this same use of wordage has the same results. These are passages where this stands for the speaker. John 2, 19, and 6. 68, this rock gr Petra, Petra, and therefore could not refer to Peter, but, if it refers to Peter's confession, then it would. Would. Agree with homologia, which is fern, and is rendered confession. Whether we are to understand it, with Augustine and Jerome, as implying thou hast said it or thou art Peter, most Protestants in 1800s and turn of the century, as well as these ancient fathers agree that Peter's confession is the foundation to which Christ referred, and not Peter himself. He was neither the foundation nor the builder, a poor builder, v. 23, where Yeshua recognized him to be Satan, but Christ alone can build the true congregation. This is very emphatic and of great significance to all the scripture and the prophets and prophesy. It ends the great subject of this second portion of Yeshua's ministry. Rook gr Petra equals a rock immovable, the Messiah, as being the son of the living Elohim, is the only foretold foundation stone, Isa 28 i.e., and the rejected stone, PS 118 22, the stone that the builders refused. Yeah. Will slash shall be the head cornerstone. Will equals shall. Therefore, then future, as in Hose 1. 10, 2. 23 Who, are these builders? The Masons, and all the powers that control and work under the control of Satan. This was all foretold and also that only those with eyes to see would learn and know these deceptions and come out of this demonic authority known as the Generally. Understood Christian Church. This is the narrow path and true walk of all anointed ones, true Christians. In Matthew 16. 25 to 28 the true church that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the name saul paul actually is the hebrew for hell our english word call slash called is actually a hebrew word kal and has the same meaning many are called but few are chosen many are in the wide path of the so-called christian assemblies churches and followers of jesus we are to be called out true believers come out of her my people Daniel interpreted the vision of the great statue seen in the vision of Nebuchadnezzar. It was prophesied that it represented the great world powers that would affect and control the ages, past and present. It was a great stone slash rock that came from heaven that destroyed them all in the end time that we now live in. If Peter had been that rock then this would have happened 2000 years ago. Peter, the cussing, lying, denying, disciple. Let us look at another mention of a stone. Jacob's stone. The time and place where his name was changed to Israel. The actual stone was taken by the prophet Jeremiah to Egypt with the two king's daughters. From there they sailed to Europe and the stone came to Ireland. It is referred to as the Stone of Scone. Queen Elizabeth was crowned over this stone and it was seated in her throne. The Masons of Scotland, Stone Masons, have begged for its owner ownership for a very long time and were eventually given a false replica of it by Britain. They do not know it. It is interesting to note that the Vatican, the mother-slash-harlot, Church of Paul, never held the stone. These stories were known in Ireland for centuries and are wonderfully documented by E. Raymond Captain I have a video about it on one of my two YouTube channels. In verse 19 And I will give unto thee degree the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose degree on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 20 Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that was the Christ. 21 Degree from that time forth degree began Yeshua to shew unto his disciples, how that he degree must go degree unto Jerusalem, and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes degree and be killed, and degree be raised again degree the third day. 3 RD day is another reference to the sign of Jonah. This is the interpretation only general understanding of the sign of Jonah. 22 Then Peter degree took him, and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, degree Lord, this shall degree not be unto thee. 
23 But he turned, and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, degree Satan, thou art degree an offense unto me, for thou degree savorest not the things that be of degree Yahweh, but those that be of men. 24 Then said Yeshua unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross slash staff slash shepherds, staff and follow me 25 for whosoever will save degree his degree life shall lose it and whosoever will lose degree his degree life for my sake shall find it church equals assembly defined as israel slash called not the ecclesia of the mystery or so-called secret revealed in ephesians by paul slash saul but that referred to in ps 22 22 25 the gates put by fig Metonymy, of adjunct, for power. The gates of hell equals the gates of Hades, Sheol slash Saul equals grave. This denoting the power of the grave to retain, as in Esa. 3810. Job 38. 17, September. PS9. Hell equals the grave. Or. Hades. The word prevail. Gr Kadaschud. OCC only here in Luke 23. 23 equals have full strength to another's detriment, i.e., the grave shall not have power to retain its captives, because Yeshua holdeth the keys of those gates, and they shall not be strong enough to triumph, Revelation 1. CP. PS 68. 20. Resurrection is the great truth asserted here. CP Isaac, 37. 11 to 14. Acts 2. 29 Hos. 13 14. Verse the keys. Put by fig. Metonymy, of cause for the power to open. Yeshua Messiah has the keys of Hades, Peter had the keys of the kingdom the kingdom of heaven equals the kingdom of the heavens. This power Peter exercised in Acts 2 in Israel, and Acts 10 among the so-called Gentiles. Not the true church. This power was given to the others, 18. 18 John 20. 23, and exercised in Acts 5. 1 to 11 in verses 12 to 16. Whatever authority is implied, no power was given to communicate it to others, or to them in perpetuity. Binding and loosing is a Hebrew idiom for exercising authority. To bind equals to declare what shall be binding, e.g. laws and precepts, and what shall be not binding. Which is exactly what Peter effectively did with the help of Paul.